obviously Wood was ruled out for injury and it was a bit of a disappointment. And then you actually looked at the way the pitch was playing out and you thought, well, maybe Tom Curran is, well, if he's going to be suited for any pitch, then maybe this is the one, you know, with all his variations, slower balls, cutters out the back of the hand. And it never materialised and actually felt a little bit sorry for him because he is the one who looks like a little bit of a weak link within that 11, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah, it's where do we go bowling-wise. Obviously, you've got Joff and Rashid. Obviously, they didn't bowl particularly brilliantly today, but there you are lock in bowlers for four overs. Uh, Chris Jordan as well, probably. But then after sort of a couple from Stokes, it's like, where do you get them from? Maybe Sam Curran if he plays or Ali. And it's a case of like, we seem to have got sort of a three or four man bowling attack sorted, but not really sure where to go for five and six. It seems like maybe Willie, considering how good he is in the power play and how much we've struggled. But yeah, other than that, it's a bit up in arms. It's probably the only place that we haven't got incredible. Obviously, we've got, we've got probably filled a second team with our batsmen, but bowling wise, we seem to be a bit all over the place. Yeah, the, the David Willie one's an interesting actually. I don't know how old he is. What? 31, 32 uh, maybe? Yeah, he's early guess. 30s, yeah. He's definitely, he's, someone, he's someone you could revisit, but you know, in, investing in Sam Curran, they've almost sort of moved on towards the next stage. He's the heir apparent, isn't he? He's, you know, exactly the same. Left arm, swing bowler. Doesn't quite get as much movement, but he is a natural mover of the ball. He's blonde. Like, he, t- he ticks every David Willie box and he's 10 years younger. But it's almost a case of England thinking about swallowing the pride and going back to David Willey because you know he had all the success in the last T20 World Cup in India in 2016 I know it's a long time ago now but there's mm-hmm. there's no shame in doing that and he'd definitely be a better option even for two or three overs in the power play than Tom Curran was today yeah it's one of them ones isn't it because obviously looking back he was obviously got to miss out on the 50 over World Cup but that turned out all right but yeah it just depends how Sam Curran does because I suppose if you are someone who swings out front, you're going to have to be good for two or three overs in the power play, and it's whether or not you can rely on him for that. So he did quite well today, and I think he was two for, not two for, um, he went for about 20-odd runs, but yeah. yeah. If, he can, if he can carry on bowling like that, then yeah, he probably is our David Woody hair apparent, but yeah, I'm not really sure. What, bowling-wise, I'm not really sure what to say. No, I, I just feel sorry for Joffrey Archer. Wherever he goes, he just sort of carries the team on his back, like... At Rajasthan, he was surrounded by, like, it was him and then, like, three idiots and there was nothing else. And with England, it's not quite as severe, but he's still just carrying what he had none for 20-odd. The first game, he had three for 20-odd. He's really just carrying on his own, especially when Wood isn't there at the other end. He was actually been, he was actually really impressive, Wood, the other day, because in T20s, a couple of times, especially in South Africa, he was, like, cannon fodder nearly. He was just bowling rapid and just disappearing 100 metres every ball. I think he sort of he works Shikadaw went over really well, so he's definitely going to be integral to any success we have in India. I think. Yeah, uh, but the thing with Joffrey is why can't he just bowl ninety five mile an hour every ball? Yeah, if if I were Joffrey, Archer, <laughs> I would simply launch this projectile at one hundred miles an hour every delivery. That's uh, certainly what the Twitter sphere thinks, anyway, or a, cer- a certain so, part of it. Uh, yeah. It's like, why has he got them gold chains? He, um, like when he no, comes he is, in and bowls, he's weighing him down. That's why he bowls so slow. <laughs> when he's bowling every fourth over for England in all formats and got an elbow problem, it's like, yeah, probably not going to bowl ninety-five mile an hour every, every single week. I no, think he's that's, much more. Yeah. He's much more skillful bowler than people are going to give him credit for. But so like, yeah, why don't he just bowl hundred mile an hour? That's what I do. Yeah, so I think it's almost disrespectful to sort of pigeonhole, pigeonhole him into a category of, yeah, this lad's quick and that's what he's got. He's, he's way more than that. He's got the line, the length, he's got the control, he's got the knuckleballs. I think in the first game, he might even brought out a leg cutter or an off cutter. He's, he's way better than, you know, just being brought on for a, a burst of two overs to bowl 100 miles an hour because that's what Gary thinks yeah. he should do on Twitter. Yeah, it's just, it's so strange. I know, obviously, there are racial undertones to what it is, but it just seems like we seem to misunderstand fast bowlers. Rather than thinking, right, how can we manage their workload? How can we do this? Just, oh, just bowl for 10 overs. Just just do it at 95. That'll do. Yeah, the, there is a, a lack of foresight on social media, as there is all the time on social media. But in, especially with fast bowlers, in terms of looking after them, it is just, oh, why can't I do it now? Why can't I do it now? Why can't I do it now? <laughs> well, he can't, he can't do it every single game, can he? A, a test match is completely different to a T20, and bowling four overs is completely different to bowling... 20 overs over the space of a day and a half so yeah I felt, 
if we can just bring an overseas replacement in for to help Joffre out for England, that'll be good. Chris Morris, sign him up. That'll be good. Uh, I'm sure that'd help him. 